This week on the Vic Meyer Show, we're visiting a very controversial topic surrounding the No Hot Creek Mine Organization against exploratory drilling just outside of Mammoth Lakes in the Hot Creek Geothermal Area by a Canadian company called Core Mining. There's a new proposal to mine right here at the Hot Creek Geological Site. As promised from last week, we're going to visit the completed monument to the Hilton Creek Mines. We are visiting the newest Bodie 64 ECB historical monument. But first, I've still got my friend with me. And uh, yeah, we're going to make this official. For those of you who know me, you know this is not a far stretch of the imagination. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that this little girl and I are perfect for each other. Although her paperwork said her name is Buttercup, she never responded to that name. So I've named her Mickey, after my past three pities, Amika, Coco, and Roxy. So we put those words together and it's M-I-K-I -I for Mickey. And Mickey, welcome to the family. Her paperwork said that she didn't really like toys also, but she loves her rope toy and she loves her Kong ball. And well, I loves her. You can see how nice it is when we get somewhere like we are here on BLM land. We can kind of spread out. Mickey can just lay here in the sun and enjoy herself. We take morning walks, huh? Oh, baby, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's a happy girl? <laughs> so, everybody. Say hello to the newest addition to the Vic Meyer Show, Miss Sleepyhead here. And this is Mickey Meyer. And this will be the Mickey and Vic Meyer Show. Not officially, but you all know. She's going to be running the joint. And I couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm. Ray Mickey. As promised, we are visiting the newest Bodie 64 ECB historical monument and the memorial to the Hilton Creek Mines right here outside of Crowley Lake, California in the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountain range. This is the Hilton Creek Mines Monument. And west of here, near the summit of McGee Mountain, the Hilton Creek Tungsten Mines, consisting of Nicole Hilton Creek Mine, Phelps Hilton Creek Mine, and the Filippelli Prospect, were discovered in June 1940 by Cecil Thorington, Morris Harlan, and Raymond W. Phelps. Their claims, located near an 11,000-foot summit along Hilton Creek, further prompted other prospectors into this region. Daniel M. Nicole of Bishop, California, worked the Nicole Hilton Creek Mine east of Navaja Bay Ridge in Hilton Creek Canyon. By 1954, approximately 7,000 tons of tungsten were extracted. In 1951, Gerald B. Hartley and Lawson A. Wright began operations at the Phelps Hilton Creek Mine, completed improvements to the road, and shipped over 100 tons of ore to the U.S. Vanadium Corporation in Bishop, California for processing. In 1955, the Filippelli Prospect, 1,000 feet north of the Nicole Hilton Creek Mine, was operational producing quartz, copper, calcite, and fine-grade scheelite. However, no ore was reportedly shipped and the grade was not known. Although its existence was brief, the Hilton Creek Mines made a lasting contribution to the development of Mono County, and today remnants can still be seen along the western summit of the ridge. Dedicated September 2023 by the Bodhi chapter number 64 of E. Clampus Vitus, and what say the brethren? Satisfactory. One thing that I really enjoy about being a clamper is monument building. Just look at all the details that go into them. The Hilton Creek Mines might be one of the more recent mining operations in this area, but it wouldn't be the last. There's a new proposal to mine right here at the Hot Creek Geothermal Site. It certainly isn't the only 
area where gold is found in this area there's a vein that stretches all the way from the Bodie Hills down to the Owens River Valley going right through the caldera and our Hot Creek geological site so I'm here at Hot Creek geological site to show you just how beautiful this place is and why we're so concerned around here with the idea of a new mine coming in to really search for ore and raw materials that are less than desirable from what I understand and would require one of those slag cyanide pits and would most likely be an open pit mining situation right here in this beautiful beautiful place and so we're doing everything we can to stop the Hot Creek mines right here at the Hot Creek Geological Site just outside of Mammoth Lakes about 10 miles and one of our more resource rich areas a good girl Mickey now this site used to be quite the place to hang out and soak when I was a kid there were some geothermal related incidences that have since made this area off limits to soaking and if you're going to bring your animals down here definitely keep them on a leash because there's no telling where the hot spots are in the summer of 2021 friends amber rassler and emily markstein became organizers and activists too they created the movement known as no hot creek mine this was in response to permission granted to a canadian company called core mining for exploratory drilling in the Hot Creek geothermal area. That allows core mining access to at least a dozen sites actively drilling around the clock, bringing with them noise, dust, equipment, and lights, likely visible from parts of Mammoth Lakes. How will that affect our dark sky status? Mineral mining has been effectively dictated by the same law for over 150 years. Federally managed lands not designated for a specific use like a national park can be utilized for mineral mining. Basically, this 1872 law establishes that, quote, mining is the highest and best use of public lands. We disagree wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, there are limited abilities for our land managers to say no, and core mining has been granted a categorical exclusion. The Forest Service had to. What that means is that no environmental impact study needs to be conducted. It's policy. The Sierra Club sued and they lost. The fight is in appeal. Core mining has agreed to wait through the appeal process, but they don't have to. For more information, check out the Dirtbag Diaries podcast. I will include a link in the description. And this right here is the uh, kind of the area where we used to hang out when I was a kid. Picnic and swim, float in the river. There's swirling eddies of hot water that come down Hot Creek and sort of warm up various locations. To learn more on the Hot Creek mining operation that's being proposed, head over to the Dirtbag Diaries podcast, and I'll include the link down in the description. Make sure you listen to that and learn all about the struggle and learn all about why it is that we're resisting this new mining proposal. Come here, you did a good job. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mickey did a great job for a first time out on assignment. Yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for dinner. Three, two. And as you can see, this sweet baby, this 42 pounds of love, is taking over. I might say happily, my 
nuts. I'm making Thank you for watching The Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Remember, when you're out there driving through a small town, slow down. Keep it between the lines and look out for Smokey, because he's looking out for you. As always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. Again, this is The Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, and keep those comments coming. I do appreciate you. You can support The Vic Meyer Show further through Patreon, Venmo, becoming a fan, a member. This week I'll leave you with a Vic Meyer Show moment of nature, partially accompanied by a little lullaby that I play for my kids. I'll see you next week. Much love. Well, hi baby. This is usually where I sit and read the news in the morning. Now it's where we sit and cuddle. And I get a little bit of forced love from Mickey. <laughs>